to me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. Shabbat Shalom. All right, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Hello, Shalom. This is Mr. Wenda. What well, up? I hope that all of you are enjoying the book. All right, we'll get there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to the King. We appreciate each and every man. Y'all got to remind me uh, to get the new mailing address so that uh, Stephen Wenda can do the new promo code. Uh, one of y'all, one of my shots, and there's somebody in there. Uh, make a reminder so I can get that in there. We, we haven't even been able to put out the new mailing address uh, since we've had that new box. <clears throat> but greetings to each and every last one of you in the sweet presses and strong and victorious and mighty overcoming name of our soon coming King Yahshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ. Welcome y'all. We're in the house here on this. Um, we're on Sabaton now, so Shabbat Shalom. Somebody came in and said, I'm Catholic. I never heard that before. Believe me, we understand. Yeah. No, if you're Catholic, believe me, there's a lot you ain't never heard of. But I think the first thing you need to learn as a Catholic, go to Matthew 23, verse 9. We'll go ahead and rock on the house right here before we <clears throat> get started. This is the first thing you need to learn concerning Catholicism. I emailed Brother Steve uh, last mm -hmm. week. Okay. All right. All right, that's the first thing we need to do. <clears throat> and when you understand this, everything else will flow like a river. Hallelujah. Matthew 23, verse 9, read, teach. And call no man your father upon the earth. Y'all understand that? You understand that? that? That means, that's not talking about like your, your, your earthly father or something like that. Your, your father is talking about a man that's outside of the family and definitely outside of Israel. Catholics is not Israelites. Isn't that right? They agree with that. And the book, this is the instruction of the Messiah. This is the Messiah himself saying that. And what do everybody in the world call the Pope? Holy Father. Holy Father. Ain't a damn thing holy about him. And so the Messiah aforetime giving us this instruction, knew that this was coming down the pipe. He said, call no man your what? Father. On what? Upon the earth. And then he goes on to say, for one. How, how many? One. How many? One. You sure it ain't two? No, it says one. You sure it ain't three? No, it's written I mean, because, you know, it, it, this one is all over the place. You yeah. know, the ekad, it's all over the place. You understand what I mean? The meal, it's all over the place. The proton, it's all over the place. <laughs> Hebrew, Greek makes no difference to me, but you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, some way, somehow, people get confused with this mess, and they just still want to insert their two, their three, their four. No, it ain't. Because there's one that's what, teach? One is your father. Only is, one. Only one. There's your father. Which is where? Which is in heaven. Y'all hear that? So that's what the book says. That's what the book says. What, what, what the kind of chips is? I'll take some of them. That's about it. But you understand what I mean. All right. So anyway, hey, we before we, we I wanted to go ahead and get that out there since we had some some Catholics or ex Catholics. Hopefully you are ex Catholic. Welcome to the Straightway Truth Radio broadcast. My name is Pastor Dow. We're joined here tonight by Teacher Shane and Brother McNabb. That's what we we in the house. We're in the dungeon. We're in the dungeon. We're not in a lion's den. We're in the dungeon. Lion's den coming up next. Um. We are right, we're just seven days now from the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which is, get Luke 22, verse 1, which is called the Passover. 
the Feast of Unleavened Bread, which is called Passover. Y'all don't never know, while we're in this broadcast right here, you don't never know. You, you need to have your Bible with you and your notepad and everything else, because you don't never know what scriptures may be called at any given time. I don't even know. So if I don't know, I know you don't know. We just go with the flow of the Spirit. Read, teach. Now, the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, mm -hmm. which is called the Passover. Isn't that not amazing? That we, that's New Testament, right? Mm -hmm. Renew Covenant. That's what they call Renew Covenant, right? Now, if it's written about over in the Renew Covenant, why is it that so many people today totally ignore what's written in this book? I'll tell you the reason. My tradition. Now, do y'all remember... Man, I'm already want to jump right off into teaching. I ain't even did no intros, no nothing. I wasn't even planning. I ain't got nothing planned except I'm gonna talk about this 501c3 corporation stuff. Hmm. Got nothing planned. Yeah. Hmm. But um, you got your name down on the list. Believe me, we got a way to check it out to make sure you've been approved. We hope that you come approved and not unapproved. We sure hate to tell you, tell you to have to kick the traces, you understand what I mean? Because, you know, you, you came in without a garment on. You know, we don't know who you are. You understand what I mean? So let's go, champ. All right, Georgia. Brother Tim and them, let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Hallelujah. Um, we have been getting ready here on the land and straightway is tired getting ready people don't understand that I'm probably going to figure out a, a day or two next week to just shut the community down before anybody else come and just take a rest day at least get some time for some r and recuperation because you know when you're trying first of all it's going to be a little bit chillier or cold at night than normal because Passover this this year is earlier than last year. All right. So when you come, make sure that you have a good Arctic sleeping bag or some wool blankets. Some people, they come with little buddies. Some people come in travel trailers. Man, we're going to make this the KOA campground for a long time. Dang. I'm going to park y'all down in the woods. Um. We have, that I know of, plenty of space. We was able to accommodate 800 people last year, right? Yes, sir. We got 864 that's scheduled to be here this year. Um, so we should have everything good. Elder Doug and them been working on a parking lot, a parking spot down below where the tabernacles them are. Uh, Eric. To one, all y'all appreciate y'all cash app offering there. Um, said he enjoyed the visit straightway. Thanks for the love. Well, thank you, my brother, for coming. Um, the sister's been working literally overtime. Mother Carol is, as usual, she's getting old. She still ain't slowed down. She's running around like a chicken with her head cut off. Uh, the brother getting the land ready. and There's just plenty to do. And the work of the ministry, it still goes on. Um, I've had this shirt that y'all seeing right here, this one right here. All right, I actually got that in the mail today. I, I didn't order it. I got a message with it too right here, and it says, "It says Hallelujah Apparel." Um, it says Shalom Pastor Dow. My name is GC. Is that how you spell it? G-I-S-S-Y? Gleesey? Gleesey. They're on Patreon. Uh, I have sent you a message saying I wanted to send you a t-shirt. These are from my SP shop. Not asking for a plug. I hope these fit you well. Barack Pastor. Well, bless you too. For all you don't know, that means blessings. And um, very nice shirts too. It says, um, and actually, where you can find, uh, I'm trying to find a place where you can actually look them up. If you go to 
E S T Y. And I guess if you 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 um go to Hallelujah Apparel, and this is how they spell it. Let me put it up there. See it? Hallelujah Apparel. Hallelujah Apparel. Uh, they sent me <clears throat> three nice shirts. I keep telling people all the time. People send me stuff all the time. And here's a blue one, just like the white one that I have on now. Nice looking shirt. Huh? And then they also have this one. Which is Israel with the menorah. And notice, it's got the name on the side. The name of the Father and, and the Savior, Yahshua. And you notice, we don't never sport nine branch menorahs. We got a reason for all that. Now, I've got a reason for everything we do. Um, the one thing myself and teacher saying has sought to do and always have done from the very inception of when the Most High Yah had us start the ministry is always to be a people of truth. That's why it's called straightway truth. It's the truth and the truth straight away. Mm -hmm. We, like many other people, over the years have had to conform to the image of the dear son. And there ain't nothing that we would take about this. Oh, she says, thank you. Thank you, Pastor. That was me. My SD shop is Alleluia Apparel. It is. Hope y'all see that in chat room right there. Thank you for your $5 super chat. I got the shirt on sporting it because it's comfortable too. Nice and light for the summertime. Really nice. Feels good too. So y'all go over there. If y'all want some of these nice shirts right here. Got the name of the father and son on it. Um, y'all go ahead and, and invest in these. Thank you for the shirts because they're wonderful. I may have to get a few more myself. Um. That way people know who real Israel is. You know, people they don't know. People don't know who Israel is. But um we've always strove and striven for strive for truth. And it's always bold and farewell with us. And I will tell you with tell you this. We have suffered a hell of a lot of loss. Nobody is going to avoid the sword of Yah. Y'all sure wasn't playing around. Go to Matthew 10. He wasn't playing around when he said this. Everybody else will try to insulate you from the pain of conversion. There's a pain. The most high, he will put you in a situation and make you choose between you and your family. He will do that. And we're going to find out, and he's going to find out why you're on this earth, who you love. And it's going to cost you. It will cost you. Now, Matthew 10, start at verse 30, it's going to cost you. And most people do whatever they can to avoid the sword of Yah. All right. Now, for those of you who contribute to the ministry by way of PayPal, could you please choose friends and family when you give a donation? That way PayPal doesn't take a fee from you. And also, um, with them not taking a fee from you, they don't take a fee as well from us. Because they, 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 they get you coming and going nowadays. You follow me? Um, we are doing everything we can to improve ourselves and the ministry and bring you along. You all are fortunate because y'all get to understand, comprehend, and y'all get all the wisdom, all the pain and the suffering, some of the stuff you can avoid simply because you're hearing truth 
unadulterated, uncompromised, and based on experience. Because we done been there, done it. And so there's a difference when you come over to here, the straight way you listen. You don't have to wait 20 years to get what it took us to learn in 25 years. Oh, yes. you, you, it, we, we done been there and done it. And that's why we can tell you that the lunar Sabbath is a false doctrine. There's a big move out there that um, had to deal with this this week too. Nobody don't want to call him Jesus Christ. They put down J.C. And no matter how much evidence we use to prove from that the name Jesus Christ is a good translation coming from the ancient Septuagint, Greek, Corne Greek, up until this point right here. And we've talked about this till we literally blew in the face. We've talked about everything from vowels pointing. We've talked about how that when you take you go and look for the equivalent of one letter to an from one language to another, you have to use that type of linguistic applications in order to get it right. And it, it just boggles my mind how unlearned people choose to be. That's why we call it dumb on purpose. It's, it's, it's just literally off the chain. So if you're going to take a Greek letter you're going to translate it to English. There has to literally be an equivalent there. Because see, Greek names ends in a nominative case ending. That means they usually end in S. Mm. And so, if you're going to, you got to know what letters interchange with what letters. If you just come up with a nonsensical, stupid ass statement... There were no J's. You think you're telling me something? There was no English when y'all sure walked the face of Earth, planet Earth. So what the hell are you doing talking in English? No cars. Yeah. There was no cars. <laughs> no electricity. Man, you people, you're like you telling us something. We done been through these rodeos that y'all trying to go through some of y'all. Amazing. Huh? Been there, done it. But I can tell you one thing. I know that a lot of people ain't willing to suffer loss in order to gain. True. I can bet you that. No, she's not gone. We, we gave you the information where you get the shirts. So that on first day, you can go over and look at it because I'm sure that she's not going to sell you no shirts on the Sabbath because that's against the law. Hmm? Teach. Matthew 10, verse 30. Come on with it. Listen very closely, y'all. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. All right. For you not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Y'all hear this? Now listen, don't all this sound really good? The hair on your heads, mm -hmm. they're numbered. You are more valuable than a sparrow. Now, a sparrow is a waste, wasteless, useless bird. It, it's, there's so many of them things. And the way that people consider sparrows, he's saying we'll help a lot better than that. Read on. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father who is that? in heaven. Yeah. Yes. Now, Everybody seemed to find it easy to go. I love Yahshua. Yahshua's my king. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's go on a little bit further. We're going to find out. Come on. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not. Here we go. That I am now, come. we got to help you out on this think not stuff. Because some of y'all in his English, y'all take it literal. 
When he says think not, y'all trying to make sure that y'all not thinking at all. But that ain't what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Alright? That means don't you let it enter into your mind. That's good. Think not. Don't let it enter into your mind. Believe me, I get it. I, I get how they have twisted our minds. But the Messiah don't want you to assume for one minute. Now wait a minute. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. And it's not, it's not amazing. And yet and still, he has never, ever, ever promised us peace. That's good. But everybody's looking for what? Peace. peace. What do they say during Christmas time? Peace and goodwill towards man. No hell, no hell. I mean, what the hell? He never promised us no peace. I know I'm going to get some people upset already, but it's okay. <laughs> Listen to what he said. Think not what, teach. Think not. I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace. But what? But a sword. Now, I know that goes against your Jesus you've been talked about. Mm -hmm. You've been taught. They, they've taught you a Jesus, man. Woo-wee. Totally different than one I preach and teach. Uh-uh. Don't you even think for a moment that I come send peace on earth. I come down to send peace, but what? But a sword. Y'all hear that? War. 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 And look where he starts at with this sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. That means oppose, opposition, or against. You mean tell me that the Messiah has come to cause division with me and my father? Uh, yeah. Come on. And the daughter against her mother. And the daughter against her what? Her mother. Wait a minute. What is all this against stuff? Mm -hmm. Don't the law says that honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be prolonged upon the soil which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth you? Yes, it does. It does say that, don't it? Yeah, that was the commandments. That's the conditions he's basing everything on. But then after this, you got to tally up and tally in all these captivities over all these centuries. Yes. Hmm? Talking to somebody this week. And, and he, you know, another foolish doctrine I had to deal with, too. You wouldn't believe all the false doctrines I had to deal with this week. Hmm? Messiah wasn't born of a virgin. I said, I said, how stupid do you got to be to go to somebody's YouTube page and listen to that bullshit? The reason why we call it bullshit. Have you ever seen a bullshit? <laughs> we got a bull out there that's every bit of 2,500 pounds. You need to make a video of it again. Yeah, he, he's a big one. <laughs> and when he shits, it ain't, it ain't like dog poop. No. We're trying to put emphasis on the how... How deep that shit's piled up. Yeah. The Messiah had to be sinless. Had to be perfect. The conditions of the law had already stated. Mm -hmm. If, that means the kings had to be keeping the commandments. There was only a few of them, few righteous kings. Mm -hmm. The last two in the line of succession of Judah didn't didn't they didn't bold a farewell at all. Miriam was in Judah. And so when Yahshua, when the father put the Ruach in her to have the son, it had to be a it had to come straight from David's seed. Good. Come on. And see, people don't comprehend. They think that they know something. Listen, we ain't been around all this time to get all this gray hair on my head, on our heads, just for so you can sit up and look at it. There's a reason for all this. We haven't wasted our time feasting and playing. Some of us have set ourselves aside and apart so that the next generation coming after us will be prepared. Trying to save you a lot of steps. Prepare you beforehand what to expect. 
You know, right? So he's he's coming to do all his division right here. Read. And the daughter in law against her mother in law. Watch it. And a man's foes. No, no. Jesus got me wrong. He can, not my mama, not my daddy, not my family. Uh uh. So who's a liar? Mm -hmm. But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. Who else was alive? You deny the father, you deny the son. Mm -hmm. And people are doing that by roles today. Mm -hmm. New Testament, irrelevant. No Messiah. We still wait on our Messiah. And the Messiah now is King David. Mm -hmm. You got first century scholars, man. Like that traitor Josephus. Even though he sell out, he still told the truth about history. Hmm? He did. Still told the truth about the history. That, that's an eyewitness account. Joseph is pretty, pretty solid in, concerning the history of antiquities. Mm -hmm. You have Philo, right on the same line, you have Eusebius. You got a lot of historians. And if you're waiting to see somebody from the tribe of Judah to write in these first century books. How much more damn better can you get than the apostles? Yeah. We're sitting there. Re we're reading from Matitiayu right now. That's good. How y'all going to just disregard them? And take on all these other people that give you their little stories. And they spin from their perspective. When well, you can listen to Peter, James, and John. Paul. And all them. That's reliable sources. Mm -hmm. Read, teach. And a man's foes shall be what? Shall be they of what? Of his own household. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. I've experienced that. He's experienced that. You experienced that yet? I already talked to him. Uh, have you tried to talk to him? Uh, it's a decent relationship. Yeah. I mean, have you tried to minister to them once before? At oh, least, yeah. you know, give them, and then they turn around and reject it, though, oh, right? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. A man got to carve out his own path. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, there's a new term that I learned from Michael Israel uh, a year ago. It's called sneak dissing. <laughs> oh, my God. You hear that? Sneak dissing. I was like, okay. Explain to me what... I had to literally get him to explain to me what it is. I'm in a different generation. You know what I mean? Sneak dissing. So he explained to me what sneak dissing was, right? I said, oh! I mean, you mean to tell me someone who's being passive aggressive? Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. You get it. But... What they're doing is these are people who slander and defame, falsify. Uh, he also had another had another saying too that will bring even more clarity than what I'm saying. You know, you know what he said. It's so they for these these new sayings or something else. You know what he said? Throwing rocks and hiding hands. <laughs> you get that? So they they throwing stones and then they hide their hands. Such as with this so-called camp called IUIC. The reason why IUIC has been coming out of my mouth a lot, the purple pagans, is because the leadership don't know how to control their people. You don't see straightway going over the other camps starting stuff and saying stuff. And neither do they behind the scenes disparage or speak evil about other camp but mm -hmm. man I can't tell you how many people come from IUIC and they can't keep straightway out of matter of fact if they even hear straightway they start manifesting mm -hmm. and so Nathaniel Bishop Bishop Nathaniel oh, overseer. Come on. and all them other so called leaders up there mm -hmm. y'all can't control y'all people 
in any way, shape, fashion, or form. And I don't mean in a negative, derogatory way, but you can tell that they are not taught any disciplines whatsoever. I don't know about the ethics of Yah. You don't never hear us talking about you, personally. But since I'm getting too many damn reports of y'all, y'all welcome to Straightway. Welcome to dang Straightway. As the old saying go, if y'all not going to say anything and just, you know, there's an old statement out in the world that says silent is the consent for agreement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you remain silent, yet and still we get all these uncouth, uneducated buffoons mm -hmm. trying to dissuade or persuade someone contrary mm -hmm. and speak negative and derogatory mm -hmm. right. about us. You do it behind our closed doors, I'm going to do it in open. And I, we do it so much in open that we can bring the people who used to be in y'all association. Or, or let me say corporation. Mm. They used to be in y'all corporation. Oh, 501. Yeah, 501 C3. Uh -oh. We'll bring them in front of your face if you want to go that way. Now, we know. Did you shut all my, my, my um, web pages, bro, saying? I had a video up here at a certain. There it is. Yeah. All right. Is we know mm. full well that y'all are a 501c3 corporation. And so now we understand the reason why you got a gag order and y'all don't speak about certain things that are going on in this world. Because not only your charter, but y'all are a creation of man. And not a creation of y'all. We're going to educate y'all on this tonight. Alright? Before we do that, I want you to hear it from the alleged so-called proverbial horses of the mouth. Here's Nathaniel Bishop. Nathaniel being interviewed. And Bishop, you got a problem with it. Call the number behind me. Yeah. We could talk about like this by men, like men, but since you can't control your people and you and they have no ethics and no no um morals and, and don't know how to conduct themselves. When the Bible says rebuke not an elder, you don't get to pick and choose who the elder is. You follow me? You let somebody from straightway come getting out of pocket and see what happens. The only honorable, let me pull me back over here for a second. The only honorable elder on the internet that I personally have ever came across, the only one that I ever came across has been Elder Ricard from GOCC. That man right there, I have the utmost honor and respect. He will say, just like I will say, I don't agree with everything that they have to say, and I'm tired of that old statement. It's obvious of that. Mm -hmm. Are you following? Yeah. But we both know what the book says. Y'all should have told the people if somebody's doing the work, man, leave them alone. Yes, did. It's better for us that the name of Yahshua is being mentioned. Mm -hmm. Being priest of contention, pretext, or whatever you want to call it. Hey, at least his name is being mentioned in a way that is drawing people away from his pagan, satanic Christianity. But for us to set up here with these buffoon, niggerich attitudes mm. and set up and to continue to keep trying to fight with each other, how the hell can we ever come together? So now, I'm going to tell you the reason why these controlled people in such a way. Because it's obvious that people don't have no education out there and don't know how to carry themselves. Now, I want you to hear it for yourself. He's being interviewed by, I forget the name of this guy. And I want you to hear it for yourself so you can hear him. See, Pastor Dow and Strayway, we're not a 501c3. We're free under y'all. That's why I can talk about, listen, I don't be saying these phrases like this all these years because they, I'm telling you something. 
And I know that being you, if you don't know, you don't know. But when you hear me say, I speak on social, political, mm -hmm. economic, yep. and religious yes. perspectives yes. and point of view. Yes. Yes, when I'm talking about politics, mm -hmm. that's because I ain't got no damn gag order on me. Come on. I can say what I want to say. I don't have to worry about my corporation or charter being revoked. Ooh. I don't have to worry about them coming in and, and dissolving the corporation and taking off land, taking everything from us. Because when you saddle up with this government right here, you are freely giving over your land, your title, and everything to the corporation. Come on. And since y'all didn't create it, but man made this corporation, yes, it can dissolve, yep. man can dissolve what it created. Yep. It can take away the benefit that is given. Now let's get to it. Mm. Listen to the words that he said himself. Y'all ready? Christianity. They don't want nothing to do with it. They don't. Want, and, and, and I'm so glad because the pre, you look at the previous generation, like the more so the civil rights generation and the ones that kind of held on to that. Um, it seems to me that they they had a they, they would go to church and they were fighters. But to me, it seemed, maybe you explain that to me, is when the 501c3 came in, it like, that crippled the black church in America, and it's like they was decimated after the 501c3. Am I, am I right about that? Because, you know, in the church, you had people like Martin Luther King come out of the church and all of that. Many other people, the church was like the epicenter of the black community to go strategize and then fight, you know, or whatever, right? Um, but maybe you explain that to me, what happened to the church in America, because it's like now, it's like, a joke, you know. The pastors out here just get money, you know. They 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 pimping and uh, you know, and have literally whole tracks in the churches. But maybe you explain that to me, bro. Now watch this. The the guy that's doing the interview with him is more woke than he is in this area. Here come the spin. Hold on. Here come the spin. Here come the fork tongue. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. It's come. Here come the justification. Mm. I want y'all to listen very closely. Very damn close. Listen. Listen very closely. Because after he get finished speaking, I'm coming with straight up facts and sources where you can research this and look for yourself. Watch this. Listen very closely. I keep trying to tell y'all. Listen. Let's hear what Nathaniel Bishop. Mm. Nathaniel got to say. Watch this. Watch this. Listen. I'll explain it to you. The 501c3 number one. It had, it had nothing to do so much with the uh, uh, crippling the church because, like me, myself, there are many Islamic organizations who have a 501c3, but what do we do? We're waking, waking the people up, okay? Even Minister Farrakhan, they got one. They, it, we're waking our people up. I'm not saying Farrakhan's waking people up, but what I am saying is that uh, it's the, the doctrine of what the black church has pushed that has destroyed the minds of the people. With the 501c3, this is what happened, Phil. Let me show you. Let me give an example in John 11. John 11, 47. I'm going back to the time of Christ. It says, Then, kept, then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. Here it comes. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him, meaning Christ, and the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. What happened with many of the 501c3s is that America set up theology, theological, theological teachers from their theology schools, just like Rome set up the scribes and the Pharisees. That's where the problem comes in. When you have leaders set up by your enemies, when you're in... Now, I want y'all to hear that very damn close. Mm. Just like you set up the what the scribes and Pharisees, Rome. 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 Leaders, right? That's good. Y'all pay damn attention to everything that's being said. Listen, listen to everything's being said. All right, let me let him finish. Give him his just due. Are y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. I hope y'all listening. I mean, for your oppressors, that might be a nice word for your viewers. When your oppressors set up and dictate who your leaders are, that's the problem with the black church. Because many of these, if you notice, many of these black churches today, I'll give an example. Uh, T. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, when I need them, buy them. Uh, give me some more. You got Pastor Noel, you got Donnie McClurkin, you got Kirk Franklin, so called gospel preachers. 
If they can gather their money together. Even what's that guy in Baltimore? What's his name? Uh uh Anyway, y'all y'all hearing this, right? Y'all hearing this? Yes. No notice what he's doing. Putting it on the Christians, right? The Christian pastors. And all of them got the same 501c3 he got. Mm -hmm. Y'all hearing that? Yep. Why ain't he talking about... Look, look, listen, listen. Why ain't he talking about this government that opposes the kingdom of y'all here on this earth? Right. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to tell you why. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Y'all ready to go for this ride? Come on. We finna go for a ride. Yeah. Listen to what it said. I'm gonna give y'all the truth. First of all, number one. I'm gonna read y'all something. Are y'all ready? First of all, you can find this under the IRS code. Known as United States Code Title 26. Mm. Everybody got that, right? Write it down. Title 26. Write it down. United States Code. Title 26. Look what it says. First, what is, let's find out, a 501c3 corporation slash organization? Education. All we doing, you can go on Google. You go on the internet, you go to the IRS page themselves and look this up for yourself. Come on. We're not going to give you our words. We're going to quote it straight from what they say. Can't get no better than that, right? The term 501c3 is founded in the IRS code or Title 26. USC 501c3, according to this code, an organization may want to be recognized as a tax-exempt organization and may apply for 501c3 tax-exempt status from the IRS. You ready? Watch this. The application is done on one of the IRS forms which presumes that the organization has been created by the state. Mm. Stop. Come on. Who has it been created by? The state. 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 And and the, the church or they, I'm gonna I'm gonna use assembly. I'm gonna use assembly. Because mm -hmm. I I know my people don't understand yeah. what it what what Latin means. Right. We're gonna use assembly. Gotcha. For us. Mm -hmm. Church for them. All right, y'all get this right. Mm -hmm. Assembly for us, church for them. All right, but it is created by the state, i.e., a corporation. You know, we talk about corporations. Come on. All right, now watch this. Notice it is created by who? The state. Hey, hey. Who is the assembly created by? Yah yeah. himself. Mm -hmm. Period. So if it's created by the state and you get a 501c3, therefore you are under the jurisdiction, the dictates, and the mandates, and the laws of the creator of that corporation. That's good. Y'all ready? Come on. Now, watch this. Watch this. In truth, according to North versus Shelby, 501c3 organization says corporation is a creature. Of the legislator created by the state and therefore controlled by the state. It has no constitutional rights except for a limited, limited First Amendment right wow. to advertise. Wow. VA State Board of Pharmacy versus VA. Citizens Council of the Ashwander Doctrine. In other words, the fictional person has no rights but only privileges. Wow. So therefore, the 501c3, it, it doesn't have any 
100% ironclad First Amendment rights. It only has some. It only has some. And it's limited. And these people are operating by privilege. You get it? Yes. But not right. Yep. You notice, now you see the reason why my cadence is a hell of a lot different. Totally different. Than these people out here. See, the camps are too busy. The white man is the devil. Well, damn, you just got finished reading the scripture about uh, people casting out devils. Y'all yeah. don't even do that. No. I mean, were they casting devils out a white man did? Come on. I mean, if you cast, hey, if the white man is a devil, Yahshua commanded you to cast him out. He sure did. All you doing is shouting them down. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Next question. Let's define what is a church or a ministry. The answer lies upon what you regard a church or ministry to be. Do you want to be controlled by the state? Or do you want to be a private and controlled by you and God? You and Yah. A church ministry does not have to apply for an exemption. You get that? Why? Because we already exist. We have rights granted to us, unalienable rights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, rights to, the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. So therefore, we don't have to go to the state right. to create a damn thing for us because we already got a creator. Right. Does this make any sense? Yes, it does. Shall I put my, put my damn Kevlar hat on my... my <laughs> get my thing over here, man. We in war, man. <laughs> man, get ain't going to like this, boy. We coming. We coming. <laughs> we coming, Dan. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all damn ready? Y'all ready? Damn it. Don't tell me. <laughs> y'all ready? Listen. I'm only giving y'all I'm only giving you what you can go on the internet and search for yourself. You ready? A church or ministry does not have to apply for an exemption. They are already exempt by its very definition. There is no law that requires a church or ministry to apply for exemption. A church or ministry as a 501c3 corporation would never have the freedom to worship. Assembly. Uh-oh. What the hell didn't happen? Switchboard over here. I just logged back in there. Just logged in. Are we still live? Oh, yeah. He just does that every once in a while. Man, this thing is doing whatever the hell they want to do. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Man, you don't have me. I'm like, man, the devil mad. They ain't looking at the devil mad now, ain't it? Some of y'all people, you, listen, listen, listen. You've had people try to take us on the chin about a lot of stuff, right? All right, watch this. A church ministry as a 501c3 corporation would never have freedom to worship, assemble, speech, press, redress, or grievance. The First Amendment right to teach or to preach your own doctors. The First Amendment right to worship on Sabbath or Sunday, because these people are all mixed up. In fact, with no qualms about the separation of church and state, a misnomer. A state can dissolve this type of church or ministry and take its assets. Wow. Call me stupid now. Hmm? Amazing. You know the reason why what I'm saying is so powerful? Because when I started this ministry, I was following Bishop Mulberry. Yeah, Overseer. And Stair. And I was, was trying to do what they did. And it came into my heart, out of nowhere, to look into this way back then. I was like, man, uh-uh. I even have the letter. Yeah. Uh, where I actually uh, dissolved the 501c3 in the corporation. I got the paperwork when I got in, and I got the paperwork when I got out. Hallelujah. Why did I get out? And I got out completely in 2003. 
Mm. It didn't take me no time to get in. It took me a hell of a long time to get out of it. Mm. And money. And money. <laughs> didn't cost me nothing back then to get in. It cost me a, it cost me a lot of money to get out of it, though. So don't tell me I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Are you hearing this? Watch it. Watch this now. We're talking about 501c3, right? Is that right? Yep. A corporation under the First Amendment only has a limited freedom of speech and is protected only if the freedom of speech involves the corporation's advertisement of a product. Of its product. The corporation itself does not have Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. See, corporations don't have the same rights against searches and seizures as human beings are supposed to have. However, a private, co a private organization such as a self-supported ministry, that's what we are, which is not a 501c3 corporation, may also have the same rights as a natural person. This type of organization is not public, but private. Y'all get that? Yeah. For a charitable organization to receive tax exempt status, a 501c3 corporation, it must look up Title 26 of U.S. Section 501c3, this is also known as the IRS Code, SO. A 501c3 corporation must meet the requirements of the IRS as well as the requirements of the state. This is one area where federal law can control a corporation even though there is no corporate federal law. Mm. Look at this. Last thing. Anybody who's a 501c3 they sign away in a legal contract the rights of their organization under the Constitution. You must remember, the corporation is a commercial enterprise. Yes, it is. And this is the main reason the state regulates. And for right now, uh, I yield the rest of my time yeah, to yeah. Bishop Nathaniel. Y'all yeah. Yeah. hearing me? That's it. So, no, I may be rude in speech. It's not in knowledge. Don't give me that bull crap, man. I don't even want to hear it. Stick a fork in it. Stick a dagger. It's done. <laughs> now you see the reason why they can only talk about the white man being a devil and the white man Esau and stuff. Because they don't. Look, do I not talk about political things? Yes, you do. Do I not talk about social things? Yes, you do. Economic things? Yes, you do. Religious things? Yes, you do. I ain't got no, do, do I not define morality as the book says? Yes, you do. I don't bite my tongue for none of you. Not at all. Yeah, come up with products, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and here these all these damn dumbass Negroes walking around wearing this purple and stuff and like they some kind of damn army and don't know what the hell they doing. Blindly following following people that's leading you to the damn slaughter. That's it. Still stuck up in the cities and ain't got an answer for what the hell to do. Call yourself Israel, and Israel are an agricultural people, and you don't even know how to butcher a damn deer. Mm -mm. Or much a chicken. Mm -mm. Denying the Holy Spirit. Say it again. Denying the Holy Spirit, denying being they, they even deny baptism in water. Mm -hmm. How can they be united? Now, mind you, I didn't start this, but damn it, you're dealing with straightway. I know about these camps. I don't know everything there's to know about it because I ain't got my time to sit up and waste my time with them. Mm -hmm. But when you are behind the scenes speaking evil of us, and I get more than one witness, I got like 20, 30 something witnesses. And I come in your neck of the woods on the East Coast and you don't even damn show up. Don't even have the gumption and the unmitigated gall, bad way, to even come and see me. Talk to me straight up, face to face. What more, what else am I to do when you avoid healthy, intelligent dialogue? Mm -hmm. Bring out the truth. Practicing all of this ad hominem. Mm. And if you understand that word right there or that phrase, that is in what is called logical fallacies. And logical fallacies is not what you call an in or, or a lot. A lot, the ad homily is, 
is when nobody else has nothing to add against your argument, they resort to name calling. Yeah. They resort to disparaging comments in order to try to deflect the audience from the issues at hand. <laughs> the issues at hand. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yep. So you ain't dealing with no unintelligent, stupid, dumb people over here. I know I may look dumb. I, I will admit that. I ain't, the mo I ain't the sharpest knife in the box. I will admit that as well. As a matter of fact, I actually follow what Yahshua says. The greater you are, the more humble you become. Did he not say that, yes, teach? Sir. Did he not? Yeah. No, 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 no. And whoever, whosoever is great among you, yes. let them be your servant. I follow those tenets. Y'all hear that, right? Yep. What do you got to say about that, McNabb? You learned something. What do you, what do you think? Give us your thoughts, man. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense to me, Pastor. I had a homeowner. They were uh, with IUIC. I'm walking to home. And whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Now you in a hot seat now. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Get in the hot seat. <laughs> no, you, you, you scared? No. Oh, okay. No, sir. <laughs> yeah. The tenant now. Bless y'all. Shabbat shalom. Now, I was saying, Pastor, I had a homeowner. They were with IUIC. And I walk in the home, they got shalom on the walls. I see fringes, you know, so I say shalom. And uh, long story short, we talk about the consultation, talk about solar. And uh, they start trying to bring up the word. Mm. I simply ask them what Paul asked in Acts chapter 19, verse 2. There you go. That's all I ask. Turn to Acts 19, verse 2, and when he gets finished, we'll hit that. Go ahead. Yep. That's all I ask. And uh, what I heard was... Oh, no, that's witchcraft. Isn't that amazing? Now, you know what we're doing? We're talking about blaspheming of the Holy Spirit now, right? Because mm -hmm. we're ascribing the work of Yah yep. to the work of a devil. Mm -hmm. Now, And if anybody blasphemes the Holy Spirit, they, don't, they literally done sealed their destination. That's it? Their eternity. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit can't be in the corporation. No, can't be in there. <laughs> Come on, go ahead, bro. No, so, uh... You know, I'm, I'm I'm baffled. I'm trying to remain calm, and you know, I'm I'm pretty much like, all right, this conversation is over. There's nothing else to talk about. You were right. already blaspheming the Holy Spirit. So, uh, you know, she said speaking in tongues was witchcraft, oh. and also that you know they do have the Holy Spirit because they follow the commandments. They keep, they keep the, commandments. the commandments. All right. And uh, you get to hear that. I briefly went through plenty of uh, scripture. scripture. Right? Yeah. You know, line upon line on speaking in tongues, on mm -hmm. how many people did it, even, you know, Isaiah yeah. chapter 20. So I went through all of this, and it was just like, no, you know, that's witchcraft. And I was just like, okay, my spirit was vexed. I was just happy to make it just out Just get the it house. out of that. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, son. Bless you. You hear that, right? Hallelujah. Teach Acts 19, verse 2. Come on with it. Let, let's, let's, let's let the book do the talking now. Now we're going to let the book do the talking. Come on with it. He said unto them. What did he say? Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? That's the only thing the brother did. And of course they say they're keeping the Holy. You know, if, if you feel, if you keep the commandments, you feel with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, damn, the seven day Adventists keep the Holy, I mean, keep the command, but they ain't filled with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. at all. So the only thing we can do is let the Bible talk for itself. Is that right? Now I need you ain't in trouble. So now the only thing we need to do is we need for all of you out there to get your Bible. Bless you, monkey bastard. Appreciate yeah. your support, man. I'm glad you're doing better too, man. Glad you're in the house. And all of you that are sending support this way, listen to me, Israel. Strangers, listen to me, all of you. Get your Bibles. And don't just be sitting up here listening to me. Get your book. Open them up. And let's use some self-autonomy here. Come on. Yes. We're going to let teacher finish this. We're going to go all the way to verse 8 in this thing. All right? We're in Acts chapter 19 right now. And I'm going to have to explain this. When it says Acts A-C-T-S or Messiah, 
A C T F. You know what that means? When it says Acts, it's called the Acts of the Apostles. And you know what that means? That means these are the actions that the apostles lived, breathed, understood, comprehend, and moved in after the death, the impalement, mm -hmm. and the resurrection of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. So when he was speaking to them 40 days by many infallible proofs, he was teaching them, preaching to them, things concerning the kingdom of Yah. Mm -hmm. And how we know what in the world that the king was talking to them about, that's why it's called the Acts mm -hmm. of the Apostles. That's good. You want to know what the, the Messiah was talking about? Action. He's said again. Action. One more time. Action. He's talking to you about what the hell do you do? Yeah. Blessed are not the hearers of the word, yeah. but the doers. The word became flesh. Mm. <laughs> we in the house. Mm -hmm. Are y'all here? Israel. Look, Israel. Israel. Acts 19. That's the verse. That's the chapter we in. Chapter. We in verse. We did. We just got finished having teacher read verse 2. We come on with it now. Read on. Mm -hmm. and they said unto him, We we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Spirit. You know what, teacher? Let me let me put this up here, man, because we like doing the First Thessalonians five twenty one thing. That's it. All right. All we, things we, we, and yeah, yeah. We like we like doing that. <laughs> so what we're gonna do? We're gonna put this up here. We're gonna spread this out up here, and we're gonna put it up here on the monitor. Mm -hmm. So and so you can read the word as he goes along, and he said unto them, and he said, we have not. So uh, and he said unto them, unto what then were you baptized? That's right. Is that right? Verse two, three. Yeah. And he said I'm under John baptism. Reverse four teach. Then said Paul. Hold on, hold on. Teacher read the second part mm -hmm. of Acts 2 and he said, and he said unto him, Follow my arrow right here. We have not so much as heard whether there be any what? Holy Spirit. They ain't even heard. And it is damn saying here we are two thousand something years later, and people still ain't heard of it. We, if we're going to hear about the Holy Spirit, we need to hear about it and know about it the same way that these people in the acts or the actions of the apostles. Yes. We need to know about it the same way that they know about it. Yes. Y'all agree? Yeah. I agree. agree. Y'all agree? I agree. Read on. And he said unto them. What did he say? Unto what damn were you baptized? So look, what you know what he's doing? He's vetting them. Mm -hmm. He's vetting them right now. What he's doing, he's vetting them, trying to, okay, all right. We understand. I, I hear you right now. You don't understand what the Holy Spirit is, so let me find out. He's better. Let me see where you at. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are you baptized? That's, that's basically what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, we know you ain't got the Holy Spirit. You ain't heard about it. And so we're getting ready to declare him unto you. And I know there's a lot of brand new people. That's all here. We're going to have a lot of brand new people at this, at this feast. Hallelujah. You know how I know? Why does that many people get baptized? Hallelujah. That always tells a tale. <laughs> And, all, and, and do we ever have a shortage of baptism on the feast? No. <laughs> Shoot, we there for a while. Yeah. And we thank Yah Praise for his marvelous work. Hallelujah. We do. Of saving souls alive and putting them in his kingdom. Hallelujah. And we are your servants, Ooh. the Israelites. That's what we are. And we differ nothing from a servant. Come on now, teach. Let's get on back. Let me, I'm going to switch y'all back to the book now. Come on. They said. What they say? Unto John's baptism. So let me see. Uh, put yourself in the apostle Paul's shoes right now. You ask them, "Have you received the Holy Spirit?" Now, the only way Paul's going to ask that is if he's already been filled with the Holy Spirit. True. Is that right? That's true. They said we ain't never heard of it. So he's vetting them. Okay, so. Okay, how were you baptized? John. John. Very key. I want y'all, let's go back to the book because y'all need to hear this. Come on. Read on. You can't go over this enough. Read. Then said Paul. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then said who? Paul. Paul, who is commonly called in the book, Shaul. Mm -hmm. Read on. John barely baptized with a baptism of repentance. What did he baptize with? The baptism of repentance. The baptism of what? Repentance. Watch this. I got to break this in there. Come on. 
did not y'all sue him? Say, hey, John. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Right. Yeah, 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 come on over here. John, you need to baptize me. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, master. Mm. Hold on, master. Now, listen. I understand that I'm the forerunner. I'm going to declare who the Messiah is when he comes. Mm -hmm. And I know you are it. Mm -hmm. I have need to be baptized of you. Yep. Did he not say that? Yes, he did. did he not say that? Yep. And you want me to bat? You want me? 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 I mean, when I declare this day the axe is laid mm. to the root of the tree. I'm talking about you. Yeah. And you, but, but you, you want me to baptize you? Right. No, ho, 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 ho. Wait a minute. I, I already done declared to these people. Behold. The Lamb of Yah. Ooh. That taketh away the Ooh. sins of the world. Who shoe latches. Yes. I am not even worthy yeah. to unloose. Yep. I told the people. Watch this one. When he comes. He's going to baptize you mm. with the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Yep. and yeah, with, with fire. fire. Hold on. Come on. So now we're back at the baptism. And here's Yahshua mm -hmm. in the Jordan. Mm -hmm. Now, wait a minute. You want me to baptize you? I have need to be baptized you. That's what John Baptist said. Mm -hmm. hey, but you know what Yahshua said? What's that? He said, look here. John, I understand, you comprehend, you're the greatest prophet of all. Yes, you because you're revealing me. Mm -hmm. But so that we may fulfill all righteousness. Mm -hmm. Take me to the water. Hey! Yeah. Take me to the water. Take me to the water, baptize me. Come on. Say it. Yahshua said, now John, we, we got this dialogue, all these people over here watching now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, immerse me, mm -hmm. so we may fulfill all righteousness. Yes. So what am I saying that for? Yep. Any damn religion. Any damn false preacher, teacher, anybody in this damn world telling you you ain't got to be immersed in water to show as a sign that you have done met the conditions of repentance as a false damn prophet and a false teacher. Yes. If the Messiah himself, and they say they believe in him, if he got immersed in water, if he got baptized in water, then damn it, you need to be baptized too. Hallelujah. And we talking about fully immersed. Yeah, hallelujah. No damn spitting and sprinkling. We're going to cover it all now. Hallelujah. That's right. We got you Methodists too in the house yeah. with you false ass Israelites yeah. deceiving the people. Yes. Another corporation. Sorry, Straightway here. <laughs> yeah, you got there right. Another corporation. That's, it. That's right, yeah. damn it. Straightway's here. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to stick with the book. That's it. If it was good enough for the Messiah, That's it. good enough for me. Hallelujah. The Messiah got baptized. Damn it, I'm getting baptized. Hallelujah. 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 Let's get back to the book over here. Anybody with me? If y'all in the chat room, y'all with me? Huh? If y'all with me, um, type in the word shout. Yeah. If you're with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just type in the word shout. Yeah. Teach where we at. Verse 4. Verse 4. Read on. It says, Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Uh-huh. Saying unto the people. That what? That they should believe on him which should come after him. Which? That is on Christ Jesus. And when they what, teach? Heard this. They were what? They were baptized in, in the, the name, name of what? Of the Master Savior Jesus. And that's yeah. something. Yeah. Isn't that come something? On. Now, I choose to believe what the word says. Yeah. This was written thousand years ago. I'm going to take that word. 100% over the opinion of these so-called self-appointed modern-day scholars. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? You ain't, you ain't got... Listen, this book's been around for a thousand years. Your ass only been living 30, 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. 
what the hell I'm doing? What kind of fool am I to be sitting up there listening to somebody like you? Yeah. And you don't even have the, the signs to even follow them that believe. Yeah. True. Come on. So true. I got to be stupid and sit up there and listen to somebody going contrary to what this book says. And this is the actions of the apostles? Mm -hmm. Well, we ain't done yet. Come on with it. We ain't done yet. You can't. This never gets old. No. <laughs> Read. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them. Oh, he did what? He laid his hands upon Let's them. Let's see what happened. Ooh. The Holy Spirit. Well, no, no, no. They kept the commandments. Ooh. The Holy Spirit. No, no, no. They kept the commandments. Ooh. The Holy Spirit. Did what? Came on them. You know what's amazing? The Holy Spirit came on them like it came on me when I had my... Because I ain't know nothing about keeping any of them commandments. They didn't either. You didn't either. Nope. And he still fills with the Holy Spirit. Huh? Read on. And they spoke with tongues. Uh uh, uh what? Hey, you was there. <laughs> Wasn't you there? What's that? You was there in, in DMV. Yes. When I when I had your Shah's wife, Bation. Mm -hmm. You know she can speak Hebrew too. Yep. Remember I, I had her speak yep. Hebrew Real and fast. I said, do it fast. Mm -hmm. You, you heard it, didn't you? You heard it? Yes. You see when I put Mama Nelly over there and I said, speak of it. You, you hearing it? Mm -hmm. Sound just like our tongues. Yes, it does. Just like our tongues when we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Just like it. They call it gibberish, gibberish, gibberish. I understand when people have never had the experience of Yah. You know, Yah said, I'm going to reveal myself to you in such a manner, in such a way. Yes. Not like unto the world. The world ain't even going to know. Yep. But you will know. Yes, you will. Isn't that amazing? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. And and we constantly boast in the power of Yah. Hallelujah. How people get healed, delivered, yes. set free. Yep. You don't ever hear these camps talking about how many people get healed, mm -hmm. how many people get delivered, how many demons been cast out, devils been cast out, people getting set free. Never. You never get any testimonies of any incurable diseases. I heard when I read the other day. That Jesus Christ, Yahshua Hamashiach, is the same yesterday, yeah. today, okay. and forever. Ever. That means if he was alive then, he's alive now. Yes, he is. All praises to the Most High Yah. All praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. And we sticking with the book, ain't we? That's it. They spoke in tongues. We speak in tongues. And they prophesied, and all the men were about what? Twelve. Twelve. Teach, go to Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Come on. Go to Acts chapter 2, verse 38. You done started something now. <laughs> Praise mm -hmm. God. But it's good to get the brand new people to come in. Because, you see, you got to come in this way. This is the inception and the beginning of the walk. Is that right? Yes. Read, teach. Then Peter said unto them. Do what? Repent. Now, wait a minute. Did not John baptize with the baptism of repentance? Repent. Yes, yes. And it is always, the word is repent, right? Mm -hmm. Always for Repent. It. It always <laughs> repent, right? <laughs> First condition, damn it, repent. Uh -huh. So that's like the reason why a lot of these people ain't got the Holy Spirit, because they ain't really never repented. Amen. Uh, that's true. You think automatically that your ass can set up and just ought to keep the commandments on your own power and will. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Without repentance. Yep. And you meeting y'all's conditions, you are a dumbass. Mm -hmm. And you're a fool for following a damn blind guide. Yeah. Any blind guides. Uh, what does the book say? Repent. Man, you letting these people mesmerize you, man, giving you goo goo <laughs> eyes and everything thing else, man. Repent. Man. Ooh. Teach, I got to get back over here real quick, let people see. Repent and do what? And be baptized. Oh, we don't have to be baptized. That, that, we, that, no, that, we don't even got to do that. We, we got a greater understanding. Yeah. Repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized. baptized. Confess your sins and be baptized. Confess your sins and get wet and get immersed. That's it. Yes. From the top of your head to the sole of your oh, feet. Yeah. So Not to that old man. Boy. Some of you. Oh. Is that what it says? Mm-hmm. Repent and be baptized. Everyone. No, some of you. Everyone. Just a few of you. Everyone. The ones that only keep the commandments and you don't need the Holy Spirit. Every. One of you. In the what? 
In the name of, of Yeshua HaMashiach. For, for the remission of for sins. For the forgiveness of sins. And you shall what? Shall receive the what? The gift of what? The Holy Spirit. Come Let on me now. pull me back up Come here real now. quick. Now you know the reason why a lot of you damn people in these camps, you ain't going to be saved. Yeah. Because you ain't never met the conditions of repentance. Yeah. Because when you meet the conditions of repentance, you will be immersed in water. Yeah. And then after you get immersed in water, you will receive the baptism Order. of the Holy Spirit. Order. You see, these people, they, they go outside of what has already been written because they think they're more intelligent than the patriarchs. Yep. And you people are going to sit over and get saddled up with the damn doctrine because what the white man has done give you. First of all, you need to listen to this and understand this. We are in the condition and captivity we've been in because of our own damn transgressions and our, and our disobedience against the Most High Yah. Yes. Every single one of us. We spurn His commandments. Mm -hmm. We hated Him. We despised Him and we loved the damn nations. Mm -hmm. That's why we're in the conditions we're in. So don't set up and get mad at the damn belt. Mm -hmm. Don't get mad at the damn belt. Come on. Don't get mad at the belt that's whooping your ass. Because you get mad at the belt, you're getting mad at the hand that Ooh. got the belt that's Ooh. whooping your ass. Yes. Mm -hmm. We understand they done went too far. Y'all already done took care of that. Yep. You let them sally you up on some damn doctor so you can have a a, 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 a dang enemy. White man, white man. Yep. What about your own damn brother that's killing your ass every damn day? You see this shit I just seen in Atlanta and Chicago? What's that? They killing each other up there. Yep. Still, that Dodge City. Yep. You are about the hatred of the white man, and we killing each other at an unprecedented damn level every damn week. Yeah. Killing each other with their own doctors. It's the curses. Yeah. The curses. Nothing, nothing but the curses. Nothing but. Mm. Now, we giving you straight book. You stick with this book. Stick with the book. That's it. See, these people getting mesmerized because, you know, like in Christianity, got a bunch of people that join over to something and it, it makes them think that they're all right. All right, IUIC, so y'all good at whooping up on people on the damn block and on the streets that don't know shit Well, Pastor Dow's here and Straightway's here. Come and try to beat us up with the dang scriptures. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Let's go to Acts chapter 10, teach. Acts chapter 10, man. Start at verse 44. Everybody hearing it? Uh, Y'all all right in the chat room? Woo-wee! Man, we had over 150 people drop. Mm. I just looked up and saw that. Elder Rufus must be McKinbay Matumbo in here, man. I don't know what he's doing, but man. He's on top rope. <laughs> he, is, he, is, he is on the top rope, boy. He got to be on the top rope with all these people that left. Man, I looked up one minute. I, I said, damn, we're close to 800, man. I look back, man, we're at 650. Wow. I'm like, what happened? Mm. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. That's it. What did you come to see? A reed shaking in the wind. Mm. What did, mm. <laughs> don't get me day. What did? <laughs> mm. Wow. I can't believe that people. I can't believe that that, that people all tore up today. That they hate truth this much. They hate truth this dang much. Can you believe that? They can't stand truth this much. Woo we teach are you in Acts chapter ten? Yes. Verse verse forty four, man. Come on, come on, Will. Let me let me pull it back up for for the people who are uh, uh could be chosen disciples that want to follow Yahshua. Come on. While Peter yet spoke these words. What happened? The Holy Spirit fell on all them which heard Ooh. the word. Let's stop. So you people need a question. Are you really truly hearing the word? Yeah. Because listen, if your leader ain't got it, he can't preach it. He can't teach it. 
I preach the Holy Spirit because I've got, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I preach that the people have power to cast out devils and demons because I can do it. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Are, is that making sense? Yes, did you hear Kabir's testimony yesterday? I did. You hear it? Beautiful. He said, man, he said, Pastor, I thought I was the cream of the crop, mm -hmm. but you encouraged me. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. He's like, man, we got to get the big guns out here for Maya. I did. Didn't he see you heard him? Yes. You gotta get the big gun. We're gonna call Pastor. He called me too. <laughs> we got the big gun. Pastor, we got I mean, Kabir's a big ass man. That's a big, That's a big man. man. Yeah. That's a tower of a man right there, boy. Hallelujah. Ain't he? Yes, he is. Uh, shoot. Man, that tower of a man, man, he got busy and he and he ended up by the power of Yahshua Hamashik, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What did he do? He ended up healing that sister. Yes, he is. And guess what? She got her healing as she, as she went. went. Her family 100% totally despised the ministry. Wouldn't even help her even get a bag out of the house. As weak and frail as she was. Now she's standing on her own two feet. Young, young, beautiful daughter of Zion. Strong. Totally restored. Went to the doctors and didn't get none the better but only worse. They're sitting up here. Can you imagine them sitting up here bearing their young daughter before she's 25 years old? How excruciating that would be. Can you imagine that? I can't. Now they ain't got to never look for that. The only thing they got to look for her to live in. That's it. They're going to be able to see grandchildren yeah. coming from her. Hallelujah. You hear me? Yes. All praises to the Most High Yah. And we say glory to Ooh, the King. Hallelujah. All praises to the yeah. Most High Yah. Yeah. Glory to the King. All right. Somebody got to be his disciples in the midst of this wicked and perverse generation. Yeah. Somebody got to be his people. Yeah. And mind you, this is a sister whose family have means and well to do. Mm. You hear me? Yeah. Means and well to do. She 100. You notice at these days, I love calling her up. Sure sister Mary, where you at? Right. Come on up here, sister. She loved me too, man. Boy, she love us and passed her down. Huh? That's a testimony. Man. Boy, I take, man, she comes on. Woo! Every time I see her, I see the glory of Jesus. Yep. Huh? Yes. I see the glory of Jesus. Huh? Yep. Restored. Yes. Healed. Bought back from Woo! someone who was headed to death with no hope, but straight to life. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praises to the most high, y'all. Can't help it, man. I can't help it. I cannot help it. And guess what? You want to hear this one? It's a milky white sister. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Uh -oh. Milky, milky yes, white. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yes, she is. Milky white. Yes, she is. I mean, about as white as you can get. Mm -hmm. She golf ball white. <laughs> Soccer ball white. She white. And yet, instead, if you remember, Jesus healed that woman for Canaan. Yep. She black as a tire. Mm -hmm. So Jesus done covered both spectrums. Yep. And mm -hmm. all in between. Yep. He didn't discriminate. No, he didn't. No. They don't want any of that. No, nah, man. That. Guess what? I know she happy that her name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Praise I know she happy she's with Israel. Hallelujah. Now she's Israel. Yes, she is. Huh? Rejoice with her. And she, she can go back. To a rich plus life anytime she wants. Mm -hmm. Choose to suffer affliction with the righteous. That's it. That to enjoy the pleasure of sin, sin for a season. For a season. That's, it. Huh? That's my little daughter right there, man. I love her. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. That's my daughter of Zion right there. Got a great love for Kabir too. Mm -hmm. Man. You can't blame her, can you? No. Nah, rightfully so. Rightfully. Feel with the man. I, I guess you had to be there to see it. Mm -hmm. We seen her when she was 72 pounds. We seen it. Yes. We see her now. I'm like, damn, sister, you sure you ain't getting fat? <laughs> damn, Ma, you sure you ain't getting fat? <laughs> I had to make sure and check. Just doing beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
And don't y'all deserve to be glorified? Yes, he does. Hallelujah. To the utmost. Hallelujah. And we, brother, we're not talking about stuff that happened 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. We're going to hold on that one testimony. Mm -hmm. And everybody going to put on the show. Mm -hmm. This stuff happened in present time. Yes, it is. We just got fish come from DMV, man. Mm -hmm. Ears opened up. Pallets in the mouth restored. Doctor's verification. Uh, anyway, no matter how much glory we give y'all, when these people are deceived in false doctrine, there ain't no amount of truth going to pull them out because they take man and so-called talent over the word of y'all. Yep. So let's, good, let's get on back to this, right? Yep. All right, Acts chapter 10, verse 44. Let's start again, uh, teacher. We're going to go ahead and let you read. Read on. All right, let's get there. While Peter yet spoke these words, uh -huh. the Holy Spirit fell on all them which heard the word. Well, that means a lot of people out there ain't hearing the word then. Mm -hmm. They may be reading it, but they're not really truly hearing the word because the vessel is corrupt. Come on. And they of the circumcision mm -hmm. which believed. That, that will be people like us. Yeah. Right? Come on. Were astonished. As many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Spirit. Y'all hearing that? On the who? On the on Gentiles? Gentiles. Uh -oh. uh oh! You mean those of another nation? Uh oh! Uh oh! 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 oh. Now wait a minute. The circumcision had to do with the Israelites, right? Yep. Peter and them, right? Mm -hmm. So Peter's like, now wait a minute. Heaven is speaking. Shemaine is speaking. What am I going to do when Shemaine is speaking? Read. For they heard them. Oh, wait, wait. So, they are now associating the Holy Spirit and the discerning of it with an experience. Mm -hmm. For they what? For they heard them speak with tongues. And they did what? <laughs> and they magnified Yah. And then they said this, which IUIC doesn't do. Read. Answered Peter. What? Can any man forbid water? That they should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Spirit as well as we? Come on. Come on. And he commanded them to do what? To be baptized in the name of the Master. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. Gentiles. Yeah, Gentiles. Somebody right and somebody wrong. And th these Gentiles are not scattered Israelites. Yeah. They, 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 they told you from the very damn beginning, these are Italians. Yeah. You know, it's, you people stuck in damn New York, and you don't even know what a damn Italian is? I'm finished, man. I'm, I'm done, boy. Huh? What are you going to do about this truth? How are you going to handle this? Just believe it. You know, teach is real simple. Go to 2 Corinthians 6, 17. 2 Corinthians, it, it, this is how simple it is. It, it can't be no other way. It can't be no other way. It. it can't be no other way, but th these are the instructions. The rules and the guidelines. We know it's the law, but the apostles are following the instruction, the rules, and the guidelines. And all you though over there that are given by way of uh, Cash App and PayPal, remember on PayPal always to select friends and family. When you give them my PayPal, appreciate each and every last one of you. But man, let me tell y'all something, man. Look, teach, read. Wherefore, come out from among them. That's what y'all going to have to do. Y'all simply are going to have to do this. Come out from among. Now, uh, did you see any scriptures laying up, up here on this desk when no. you was over here? It, I mean, any at all. Mm -hmm. Is anything laying up? I mean, the Bible sitting right there, but it's closed, right? It's closed. It's closed. You see any scriptures laying anywhere? No, sir. Hey, no, no. You see any notes? Mm -hmm. Notes anywhere. All right, come on. No, sir. Wherefore, come out from among them. And do what? And be you separate. Save who? Saith Yah. And do what? And touch not mm -hmm. the unclean thing. And you'll do what? And I will receive you. Y'all people got to come out of these camps. 
Yes. That, that look, the twelve tribe chart is a lie. It cannot be proven by scripture. You don't believe me? Type in twelve tribe chart and listen to them explain it. And do what they don't think you're going to do, which is open up your Bible. And try to follow along with them. The shit is all but laughable. It's all but laughable because they insert shit. They do just like the Christians do. Insert stuff. Make up crap. They got to have a product. It's, 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 yeah, just like T.D. Jakes, the same one they claim to be condemning. 501c3, brother. Revelations 18, verse 4. Come on with it. Man. Teresa Rogers says, Knoxville, Tennessee, knee straight way. Well, sister, you and and if you can find a brother up there, y'all only, what, y'all just two and a half, three hours? Listen, straight way is close to y'all. We're only about maybe two and a half, three hours from y'all. Knoxville, shh, Tennessee, man, we could have a nice little home fellowship up there, couldn't we? Yep. What I call Revelation 18, verse 4? Mm -hmm. Read on, teach. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, What did he say? Come out of her, my people. Come out of who what? Come out of her, my people. Now this is in Hazum, the revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach, the divine, right? Is that right? That's right. Come on. That you be not a partaker of her sins. Mm. And that you receive not of her plague. That's the reason why you need to come out. Come so out. you got a her church, yep. uh, so-called assemblies, then you have a people mm -hmm. out, out, just just, just get out. That's good. Why did the most High call us out of something like this? Mm -hmm. Come on. Go to the law. Yeah. Deuteronomy 7 yeah. verse 6. Just go straight to the law. He's not speaking out of the side of his neck. He's telling us something. He said, Northwest Arkansas needs straight way too. Man, y'all got to be there. Listen, I used to live in Northwest Arkansas. I'm going to prove it to you. Fort Chaffee. I used to be stationed at Fort Chaffee, Arkansas. Forward. JRTC. Or I used to be in Op 4. In the early 90s. I know about Northwest Arkansas. Man, I love all y'all. It's glad to know that y'all there. Man, I tell you what. Y'all in the chat room, man. Just give us your city and state where you're from so everybody can see how many people are listening. But what we at, teacher, what we call? Deuteronomy. Deut oh, the law. Deuteronomy 7-6. Read, yeah. teach. For you are unholy people. Now, see, I'm trying to tell y'all right now. I don't, whether you a Jew, yeah. whether you a Gentile, I mean, I'm telling you, Yahshua has said this clearly. You are a what kind of people? A holy people. Holy people mean set apart. Set apart people. That means up from everybody else. Wherefore, mm -hmm. come out from among them. Yeah, Be you separate. Is that right? Yeah. Come out of her. Mm -hmm. he, so purpose. Yeah. You know, I ain't nobody never told you this, but y'all sure didn't set up there to save you to keep you in the city. Mm -hmm. He wants you out. Mm -hmm. Out, 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 and out. Hallelujah. Man, McNabb, I can't even keep up with this. Look at this. Come over and look at this, man. They, 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 look, they, they, they typing in all the places they from. Look at that. Yeah. Woo wee. Crazy. Shout out to all of y'all. Just now yeah. slowed down. It just slowed down. Wow. That thing was running like, look, it's back up again. Yeah. Look. It's thinking. Mm. I think the server had to catch up. Yeah. Look. Look at that! Wow. Israelites all over the place. That's it. Praise God. Bless y'all, Israel. Hallelujah. For those of you that, hey, listen. If you didn't make it on the list to get here for, for Pesca, Passover, try to get here for Sukkot, Tabernacles. All right? Uh, I think we, we may extend it to 900. Mm. 900. We're at 864 right now. That's We added 50, 64 more people than we did in Tabernacles. Whew. I'm, we pushing it. 
We may be pushing it, but that's all right, though. We may be pushing it. But I tell you, McDowell, do we not have time all light? Yes. Worse than praising most on y'all? We got everything of it. We got a smoker's board here. Man, they still typing it in. I was thinking about that earlier, Pastor. What is it, McDowell? Come on. Nobody feasts like y'all's people. They don't? Y'all's true people. Including these camps. They don't feast like we do. They're not free. Man, them boogers, they, they, they have Passover. They'll go rent out the Hyde Regency. Mm -hmm. And they out in the wilderness or outside of the city. You know what I mean? Striking the blood on the three sides of the doorpost. Yeah. In the city. They got chandeliers. Huh? Stages. Everybody think they Luther Vandross. <laughs> Everybody... I'm corporate. <laughs> Teachers say corporate. I know. Corporate last <laughs> Who is that one? That's Sister Constance. That's my control. Yep. She's what uh She had a girdle. She had a, a Gorda. Sis. Yeah. Yeah, which is yeah. On her neck. All gone. Gone. Here, yeah, let me show y'all this. Look at this. Here's a sister right here. Look at that neck. And then look look at here. That's called healing. Mm -hmm. Called deliverance. That's called the king who everybody think is some fictitious being way off in the wild blue yonder. He's not thee, even in thy mouth. The word of faith which we speak, which we preach. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The children's bread. <laughs> if she was in the camp, they wouldn't accept her. No, nah, hell no, nah, he wouldn't accept her. Because her father is what they call a Gentile. Oh, really? And her mother is black. Oh, really? Nah, damn, I guess we're going to have to hit that one too then. Before that, we get there, let's get the law then, okay? We got to get the law, okay? Finish reading, teach. For you are a holy people unto Yahweh, the Elohim. Yahweh, the Elohim, has chosen you. To be what? To be a special people unto himself. Mm-hmm. Above... All people. Uh, some people. All people. A few people. All people. Just white people. All people. Just black people. All people. Africans. All people. Europeans. All people. Saxons. All people. Gauls. All people. Vikings. All people. Hutus. All people. That are upon the face of the Earth. Oh, we getting that right. We do get that right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's get this. So the camels wouldn't accept, right? My my sister, right? Constance and kiss my. Anyway, let me hold my resolve. I'm trying to be. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I mean? I'm getting old, McNabb. You know that, right? I'm getting old, man. Yes, I'll be 55 this year, man. You know, I'm huh? Said live long. Well, be the Father's will. I, I need to get y'all prepared. So when he does take, you know, blessed be y'all. That y'all ready. Yeah, but y'all need to be following hard after the vein and spirit that I'm in. Y'all need to follow hard as y'all can, man, and, and and get it in you. Get it so that your seed will remain. Isn't that right? Get it in. Act 16, teach. Come on with it. Let's get Act 16. We're going to debunk this shit, too. This damn racist shit. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I bet they got bad as hell. My broadcast yesterday with the NFL. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh come on, man. You know every time I show that family picture, mm -hmm. oh it's done for, isn't it? Man. They mad tonight. They can be mad. All oh, the hell they want to be mad. Somebody said I ain't old. I'm glad you didn't say it, but I know they said over in John eight. When they challenged Yahshua the scribe and Pharisees, didn't he? Yep. He said, no, nah, not yet what? 50. 50 years old. <laughs> and so, so 50 to us, once you hit 50, you old. Yeah. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. I mean, that, I, I'm sorry, but we we can only just go by book. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, we may not look, we may not feel old, but we, I damn sure look old. I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at my, man, you don't think I see myself in them young pictures I be showing? This shit. I look old. Huh? Approaching three scores. Woo! What you say? Look, look, look. I'm going to pull up a picture for y'all, man. I'll pull up. Look, look. I was 44 years old right there. Mm. If that age. 
That's young looking. Mm -hmm. All black. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't look like that no more. Praise God. <laughs> Wisdom. Mm. So don't tell me what old is. I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at this. I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at this. I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at this. And I'm looking at that, and I'm looking at this. So I think I know what the hell old is. <laughs> Not that I, I understand y'all trying to make pastor feel better. I ain't got time for this stuff. I'm good. I'm good. I accept where I'm at. I ain't got a year that I want to go back to. Ain't that right, T? I promise you, listen listen to the wisdom I'm saying to y'all. I'm here, right here. And I, I've, I've had some good years, bad years. I've had some years. But I don't have one damn year on this earth that I'm willing to repeat. Because if you go back to that year, that means you have to repeat all the pain, all the suffering, all the changes, all the digressions, you got to repeat them all again. Yeah. So I, I ain't got a year I want to go back to. I'm good right here. No, I, I'll take this right here. I make a hell of a lot more. I make, matter of fact, I make a hell of a lot less mistakes now than I did when I was young. Yeah, plow forward. See, <laughs> if you are old and you're doing the same foolish shit as young people, you got problems. Mm -hmm. You got some serious problems. But when you're young, I can, yeah, we can give you a little bit on that. You know what I mean? Well, who's that said, I've been young, and now I'm old. old. I've never I've seen the. So you got righteous young and old. Knowing seed. Begging, begging for bread. Uh, anyway, I, you get it, right? Mm -hmm. Young and oh. old. I look, I look righteous. <laughs> One, two. John, I said, Pastor, you hilarious. No, I'm just truthful. Yeah. I'm direct I'm real. and truthful. And yeah. living color. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could go out there and, and get me one of them damn boxes they got in Walmart and grease them and blacken this stuff up and make me look like I'm 44, 45 years old. Mm -hmm. For what? Truth. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I done had my... Damn! I done, I done had my time. Yeah. Yes. Let me enjoy the years. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting older. Yeah, getting in the harvest time. <laughs> Say it again. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, man. Is the Kai? Look, where's this guy at? Mm -hmm. He's chubby now. Y'all ain't seen him in a while. Mm -hmm. Is the guy still up? Is this guy still up? Do y'all know if he's still up? Man, they'll bring him. But I'll tell you, he's 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 he's, he's man. He's just he's almost six months. He ain't six months yet. But mm -hmm. oh, boy. Them babies, boy. Little brother. Mm. He may be asleep, though. But I tell you one damn thing I'm sick of. I'm sick of this racist shit. I'm literally sick of that shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? Till I'm damn green, blue in the face. And I don't give it. You know, when I did that message on proselytes, you thought they would put a damn nail in the coffin right there. Where your wiggle room at? You understand what I mean? Yep. That's game over. That's literally game over. He sleep? I figured he'd be sleep. Mm -hmm. See, he done, he, he my own son done betrayed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, done, he done took slumber and sleep. <laughs> but that's all right. Hallelujah. That's all right, though. I mean, he doing well, though. I, I, we, we love him. He doing good. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a modern day picture of him though. Y'all want to see him? There he is right there. Yeah. Look at him. Five months. Mm -hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. There he is. My prince. <laughs> Lord to the king. Man, y'all has blessed me in my old age. And I'm not old as Abraham. And I know, I believe me, I realize I ain't old like everybody say old, but damn. You old too. You old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, bro, say you old too. Hey, let's get back to this racist crap, all right? Let's get back on this to this little racist crap right here. And the older he look at his guy. He looking he looking just like his daddy now. 
He started off looking like his mama, but it's changing fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't it changing fast? Yes, it is. It's changing fast. Mm-hmm. All right. Acts chapter 16, verse 1. Let, let's, we got to get this right. Mm-hmm. We got to hit this. Read, teach. Yep. Then came he to Derby and Lystra. Uh-huh. And behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus. Stop. Because if you was to pick up your Bible and you would look up the word Timotheus as far as titles of letters mm-hmm. or books, mm-hmm. you wouldn't see that name. No. So when it says Timotheus, mm-hmm. look up the word Tim or the name Timothy. Yeah. Paul wrote two epistles. Epistles mean letters of instructions. Wait a minute. Instructions to Timothy? Yeah. And he told his Gentile to ordain elders? Yeah. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. Yes, he did. I'm done. Yes, he did. I'm D-O-N-E. That's what Paul said, right? Yes, he did. Paul was one who was classified as an Egyptian. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Or doubt this Egyptian? But then he told this Timotheus, Mm -hmm. Timothy. To ordain elders in every city. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm done, man. Mm-hmm. See, these doctrines, it ain't hard to tear them all down, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's all by the Spirit. Read. The son of a certain woman, which was a Jewess. Oh, she was an Israelite. Mm-hmm. That's basically what she was. Yeah. So, here's the kick part right here. We're going to kick it in. we got to kick on. it in right here. Read. And believed. But his father was a Greek. Now, wait a minute. Automatic by association, when we say his father was a Greek, people automatically associate Greek with being white. Mm -hmm. During his time frame. Mm -hmm. And they automatically associate, they will call this, um, if you was racist, they will call this misogyny. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if you just a human being, you live in, you know what I mean? And 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 mind you, this wasn't his mother was an Israelite. Literally. Yep. That didn't even really believe. Watch this. Come on. Let's go slow again. And there came he to Derby and Lystra, and behold a certain disciple was there named what teach? Timothy, Timotheus. The son of a what? Certain certain woman which was a israelitis here here come a jewish or israelite what next phrase and believe there you go she's one that believed mm-hmm. right yeah but the father was a greek the father was a greek greek oh wait a minute this woman believed but the father was a greek gentile I got some problems, man, over here. What say? I got some serious problems, man. I mean, something wrong with this book over here, right? I'm reading. Let, let's go, go. Stop for a damn second. Hmm. So the father's a white man, if we follow today's sentiment, mm-hmm. and the mama was a black woman. Mm-hmm. So go to First Timothy, mm. chapter one, verse one. We got to do this, man. Israel, we love y'all. Looking forward to seeing y'all. We love y'all. I hope y'all enjoying this teaching tonight. And this thing is all shot from the hip. Every bit of it is. Come on with it, teach. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the commandment of Yahweh, our Savior. Let's put that over there. Come on. And our Savior, Jesus Christ, which is our hope. Unto Timothy, my own son in the faith. Stop. That's just like what I call Brother Brent. Matter of fact, I need to get some pictures of Brother Brent. Both of us getting older. Yep. I remember Brother Brent when he was 18 or 19 years ago, and he showed up down there in Tampa, Florida, wanted to a meeting there. Mm-hmm. Been faithful mind. Israelite ever since. Yes. I got to get some pictures with me and my son. I think I got you. You already got some pictures with me and him? Yep. Wow, I ain't got them. Send them to me. I need some pictures, man. 
When me and my son, brother Brett. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, I got plenty of them. Mm -hmm. When he got married, yeah. That's when he get some pictures of us on the land, that's my son right there. Yep. That's him. Mm -hmm. Looking like a king. Yep. Like a king right there. Yo, Hearing that? Sure. <laughs> I'm glad you got them too, man. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So Paul, being an Egyptian, or, or at least called an Egyptian, classified as an Egyptian, and remember, you know what, teach? I'm going to have to bring some sense to this, right? Right, that's what I thought it was. Let's go over to Hosea 11 1, and then we're going back to Timothy, okay? Mm -hmm. Hosea 11 1, and then we're going back to Timothy, okay? We're going back to Timothy 1 1, we're going to Hosea 11 verse 1. And you got to hit that, brother. Read. When Israel was a child. Now, hear that? Is. is is when Israel was a what? Child. Oh, it's talking about Yahshua, though. You're going to find out, though. Read. Read. Then I loved him. Mm hmm. And called my son. What? Out of Egypt. Isn't that a prophecy over in Matthew? When he said, Out of Egypt, I have called my son. Wow. You people better learn these precepts. Wow. You better learn these precepts. Even calling Yahshua Israel. Yeah. Was my son. When he was a child, out of Egypt, out of Mizraim, I have called my son. son. I'm all but done, teach. I'm literally all but done. That's so that the prophecies will be fulfilled. Because remember, they took Yahshua when he was a child and took him straight into Egypt. Yep. You can't hide no white child, man, in no damn Egypt. No. What the hell? <laughs> he will stick out like a soap bomb. Yep. <laughs> Let's go back, Timothy. Yeah. These people don't, you know, mm -hmm. now you know what Yahshua said, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. I love y'all, Israel. I, man, y'all are just donating and giving so much tonight. I, it's impossible for me to keep up. But no, you hear it again? Yeah. But no, I love you. I promise it's going to be used for work in the ministry. What did Kabir say yesterday? You know, these people, yeah, Pastor Dow asked you for some money. I did. Mm -hmm. I didn't need it. I, I, I could have paid it off right then and there. Yeah, yeah, Kabir told him, yeah. That's because um, he wasn't too prideful to ask me for money like you. Did. But then, when when I asked him for money, what did I do with the money that I asked Kabir for? I bought land. Yep. For the ministry sake. For the ministry. And then had a home on it. Move and moved saints into it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, uh, it's Bishop. Nathaniel doing that? Mm. Mm. It's your Hebrew Israelite leaders doing that. Buying lands. Purchasing homes. Mm -hmm. And moving Israelites into them to where they don't have to pay rent or mortgage. If they are, they got it from you. They can't do it. They're too damn selfish. They can't do it, man, because their treasure is in earth. That's what it is. They, they... If it was just me, man, I'd be just as fine as just, you can stick me a damn hut. Give me a pee bucket. I'm good. As long as I got a bed. Content. I get a bed. I got a creek to take and I can wash my ass. I'm good. I'm serious, man. I'm just. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Hallelujah. Where we at, Teach? First Timothy? Mm -hmm. Man, we got to get ready to close this thing down. Lines then coming. I don't want to keep them, man. I, how in the world do we keep on. How we fill all these hours that fast? <laughs> Are you serious? Anyway, come on with it. Unto Timothy, my son in the faith. Grace? No, no. no, no. Let me get over here. Unto, unto Timothy, my son. son. Now, wait a minute. His father was a Greek. Greek. 
His mother was a Euro Jewish or an Israelite, right? Yes. Yahshua said, out of Egypt I call my son. That's what yes. y'all said about Yahshua, right? Mm -hmm. Prophecies, right? So let me get this right down it again. Come on. If you follow by the way these damn assholes teach today, they will say Timothy is a come from a, a, a Greek white man mm -hmm. and his mother was a black Gentile mm -hmm. or black Jew. Mm -hmm. Black Jew, right? But Paul, being an Israelite, he did say that, right? Yep. Travel there. He's an Israelite, right? Mm -hmm. Hebrew, Hebrew. Paul yeah. is an Israelite. Yes, he is. I know he said that, right? Yeah. He is an Israelite, right? Um, he going to call this Gentile convert his son, son in the, the faith. faith. I got plenty of them. Love them all, too. Love it, love it. Look what he says. What was his salutations to him? Read. Grace. And. Mercy. And. Peace. From. Yahweh our Elohim, Yahweh our Father, and Jesus Christ, our Master Savior. You know, McNeil, I think I'm sick with the book, man. You know, I, I, I'm sorry, man. These damn modern day so-called. Hey, Bishop Nathaniel. Nothing personal, man. It really ain't. But you need to get control of your damn people over there. You need to teach them etiquette. You need to teach them chain of command, honor and respect. Because you're not going to see nobody from straightway speaking evil about y'all behind the scenes or in front of the scenes. Unless you do something like that with us and, and, and you're going to see the, uh, I'm going to say this, the proverbial dog come out in them. Yeah. Um, because this is a patriarch ministry over here. Ain't a damn thing matriarchal about this ministry. You seen it up in DMV, didn't you? Yep. We walked in there, man. You seen what? 70% males, 30% females. Man, what? A man nor a man when he hear a man because he's a man. Who would ever thought we'd be this long now? I didn't think it was going to be this. I thought it was going to be quick. I thought it was quick. It went by quick. Yes, it did. Well, we'll wait on Brother Stephen them to get it in. Hey, Israel, bless each and every one. You know, every last one of them. I feel sorry for those of you who actually came into the room and then y'all kicked the traces when we started speaking truth. If y'all waiting for me to get on Joe Biden stumbling up the steps. Matter of fact, where is that at real quick, boy? Boy, if I could find that, man, that would make my night. Man, let, let me. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I'm glad you said that, son. Good God. Let me stick it up here real quick. Because, boy, wait till y'all see that this is your president that many of you so-called selected. You was instrumental in the selection process. Wait till y'all see this. This is your president right here, right? Oh, shoot. It. Where is he at? Ah, there he is. Right there. Alright, we're gonna help y'all out. Listen. I want y'all to I want y'all to watch y'all y'all president, right? Y'all check out y'all president, alright? Watch this. Y'all Democratic president. By the way, let me add this in there. I can do this because I'm not 501C3. Yeah. You, you ain't going to see the cameras do They can't do this. Yep. <laughs> because they, their charter may be revoked. Yep. <laughs> all right. It. All right. Let's get in it. Let's get in it. Let's get in and put our foot in it, damn it. They go, your president. The most popular president in the history of mankind. Hiding in his basement. Debating from behind the scenes. He just needs to walk and stop this running shit trying to prove stuff. You know what? He owed this shit. Watch this. Stop this shit, Joe Biden. 
you old, damn it. Look, he's gonna try to run up the step. He's feeling the courage. Well, there's one. The up, oh, there's two. God damn. He man, he's old as me. <laughs> what the hell? Damn. You look like Hillary Clinton, didn't you? <laughs> you damn Democrat, y'all some demonic shit. <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry. Y'all on some demonic stuff out there. That's something. Y'all done done some stuff in y'all younger years. Man, y'all young, hey, yeah, y'all old age. For those of us in the know, y'all paying for this stuff. You see that? That book was trying to electric slide. <laughs> Electric slide up on Air Force One, man. <laughs> oh, mercy, hallelujah. Oh, geez. Anyway, hey, teacher Eric, it's probably done put up another uh, teaching last week. I think, you know, last week he put up a teacher on Levery Act. Law did a damn good job. Go check it out. Always check out. Uh, teach Eric's teachings he does every single week he pours his heart soul mind spirit and body into it I'm just looking forward to seeing Israel at the feast of unleavened bread which is called a Passover by this time next week we'll be in the tabernacle with our people oh y'all ain't gotta worry about it. Tennessee is opened up Yeah. even when it wasn't opened up we still opened up yes. didn't we yep. last tabernacle yep they was tearing by shut down, shut down. We still open up. Oh yes. And we open up. And um, teach you think I ought to go up at a Walmart and inform them all the people that's gonna come in for they steal everything off the shelf. They ain't gonna steal. They gonna pay for it. You know, take everything off the shelf. I don't want the Israelites to have to travel far. You know what I mean? To get a couple of things. You know what I mean? You, maybe that'd be a <laughs> diplomatic. Yeah, you know I mean, come on, man. Be a little bit, do some diplomacy, teach. Maybe you go, hey, I know I long, no longer work here, but hey, I just want to be a little different. I want to make a little bit more. Hey, check it out. We got, I got a bunch of my people coming in. Y'all may want to try to stock this, stock that. You know what I mean? I don't know if you're going to reach them or not, but hey, at least you can't demolish them. Did they ever pay attention to that in the past anyway when you told them that? They didn't? What assholes, huh? I get see I see the reason why you say it, don't worry don't worry about it hey oh well Israel make sure y'all have everything that you need if you're going to be here because I know it's going to be at least three to four hundred y'all is going to be here throughout the feast of unleavened bread we get it but make sure that y'all have everything that you need um, get you some propane cylinders you know if you're going to use the little buddies and stuff like that. But more than anything, I mean, I love, I'm actually thinking about setting me up a damn tent out there again this year. You know what I mean? Because that cool air, a sleeping bag, man, ain't nothing like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, believe me, I had my share of sleeping out in damn woods. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But man, this is luxury. Mm -hmm. Sleeping like this. Mm -hmm. Huh? This ain't nothing but other luxury. Damn, teach, I'm trying to get hit. Get rid of old Biden there he is right there. But it's all a luxury to me. But anyway, hey, we got Lions Den coming up. And, and we appreciate each and every last one of y'all spending this time with us, listening to us, putting up with us. Probably what y'all doing more than any damn things, putting up with us. Um, But we're doing well. And we thank the Father for it. Remember these shirts that we um, put out tonight. Yeah. All right. Remember these shirts. What was that address go? Where did it go? I moved. I lose. I lost it, didn't I? Yeah. I put in my videos though. That's all right. We got an SD. They, they got an upper part. Hey, when y'all go back into the um, archives or you go back to the videos in itself, go to the very beginning. You'll see where to get it from. They done a real good job. I, I really do appreciate it. You see me wearing it now. You see me sporting it. Sporting it. And sporting it. And mind you, I'm going to throw this in there again. You notice we're not sporting a nine branch menorah in any way, shape, fashion, or form. What size are you at? Extra large. You extra large too? How much you weigh, man? 235. Damn, you big guy. 
You big guy. I remember I used to weigh 235. I'm trying to lose it. Well, you ain't happy with your size? No, I'm happy. I just want to be lean. Oh, you healthy. want to be lean? You want to be faster, quicker. Yep. That's what it is. I understand that, man. That's pretty decent size. You about six foot, ain't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Six one. Six one, yeah. I figured you was. I remember I used to be six feet tall. Until I spent 10 years in the damn army. <laughs> I don't know. Gideon, I mean, we got to talk to him about that because ain't no way in hell. He's a paratrooper, too. He's a ranger and a paratrooper. He's got to lose some. I know you got to lose some damn height, ranger. You had to lose some damn white height. I mean, he's damn, I know. Gideon's taller than I am now. I know he is. I used to hump some heavy shit, though, man. Getting a straight up infantry man or uh, ranger, but I was a damn uh, communications. So I used to be with their commanders. I used to have to carry the batteries, the radio, this big ass heavy radio, man. Mm. I used to carry my, my rucksack, average 100 to 120 pounds. It was some heavy shit. I kid you not, man. We'd be humping our ass off in 82nd. That's a lot. It is, man. I'm telling you, it, it is. It is. It is. Ah, glory to the king. Hey, Israel, Lions Den. We're looking forward to seeing them. Hey, we bless you all. Sweet, precious, strong, victorious, mighty old coming name. I'll soon come to King Yahshua Hamashiach. Looking forward to seeing y'all tomorrow. Hey, check it out. Straightway.com. Are we still online, hyperchurch.org? Not there no more. We're going to stop paying that with then. Okay. All right, we're not using that server no more. Uh, we straight up on YouTube, right? Facebook, we're still in jail. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think I'll be in Facebook jail until after the feast. Matter of fact, no. We may be able to hit the feast on the 26th. I may be able to get Facebook on the 26th. Got to find out when I was banned. Somebody said I was stationed in Fort Bragg. Yeah, me too. Bragg, brag, 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 brag. It's crazy, man, because Bragg came so much a part of me, man. I mean, after all, I spent five and a half years at Fort Bragg. That was a long damn time. You know what I mean? Um. Anyway, Israel, we hope y'all embrace the truth. Just do that, all right? Lions Den should be up in about 10 mics, 10 minutes. Um, probably have Frog Band there. Daniel Muir. Rob Mathis. Y'all watched that video about the NFL, right? Chaplains oh, yeah. seeking out these damn Christian apologists rather than talking to us. Mm -hmm, right. The best bet, talk to us. And then, you know what I noticed today? What's that? Fox News or Fox gave Skip Bayless a $32 million deal for talking. Uh, and he, 69 years old. Shannon Sharp is a hell of a lot better talk show host than yes, he, he ever is. would be. Yes, he is. By ever far. would be by far. Fox. Mm -hmm. Shannon is carrying him. Let's see if we get paid that much. Shannon need his own show. Yep. He that dang good. Yeah. You can tell Shannon he's a shit talker. Mm -hmm. Shannon, sharp. Mm -hmm. He probably ain't looking this. Your ass need to get over here with the boys. Hey, hallelujah. Don't he? Yeah. He need to get over here with me. Yeah. Kabir. Yep. Daniel. Mm -hmm. Rob Mathis. Come on. Mm -hmm. You need to get over here where the boys is. Let's see what you got. Yeah. I love me some Shay Shay. There you go, he called. Shay Shay. <laughs> All right, Shabbat Shalom, Israel. King coming. Hallelujah. We're going to take y'all out with a big old bang right here. Let's give y'all. Uh, and I ain't going to take you that long. I ain't going to take you that long. Let's go ahead with um, a trumpet. King <laughs> Look at him looking.